Sincerely, I have been there. I'm always running away from tell me about yourself. But the whole mountain has been leveled. So follow me. Hello guys, hi greetings to you all. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, you are welcome. And if you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for returning. Long time no video. <laughs> Most of you might have been wondering where I went to. By the way, I am Ella Obans for the new subscribers. I'm the CEO and the founder of the very best writing and personal development academy of our time, known as Fightably You. So, in this channel, we discuss basically about purposeful living, sound mind, um, lifestyle, and then productivity. Sincerely, you're going to enjoy this channel. Do it to subscribe. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Have you done that? Thank you. So today I want to just as in the description, as, as indicated in the description, we will be discussing on how to introduce yourself anywhere. Now, when someone says, tell me about yourself, you feel somewhat attacked or maybe someone is giving you a very um, difficult assignment to do. Sincerely, I have been there. I'm always running away from tell me about yourself. But the whole mountain has been leveled so follow me let's get right into the video welcome back once again so today if someone asks you to introduce yourself before you introduce yourself you need to understand what is the what is the occasion um before you introduce yourself you need to understand what occasion is that are you in a party are you in a recreation um ground are you in a conference or business um submittance like likes because the way you introduce yourself in the party, the details you give about yourself will most likely differ from the details you give in the business summit. Because in a party is majorly about recreation. You have to follow the rules and talk about things you do for recreations or even the job you do that's somewhat related to recreation. Don't worry, I'm going to give examples. Now, when you're in a party, all those hangouts, chill outs, get together stuff, if someone asks you, can, hello, can you introduce yourself? Or please, so, uh, as someone comes to you, hi, I'm James, what's your name? You'll be like, I'm Ella Obant. You just keep quiet. That's an error. Like, that's very, very wrong. Now, check this. Start with, hi, James. I am Ella Oban. Remember to call the person by their name because it is said that the best sound people love to hear is their name. So call them and you just say, Hi, James. My name is Ella Oban. I am a YouTuber and then I love to leverage on my social media platform to teach people on how to communicate their thoughts. Now, that really makes sense, right? Now, when you are in a business summit, you are in a business summit or conference. If you want to introduce yourself, you have to start with if probably the speaker asks you everyone to introduce themselves. You probably you should start with hello, thank you so much for having me or thank you so much for asking me to do this. My name is Ella O'Brien and um, I am a biochemist by profession and also a communication strategist. Um I am so glad to be here because I look forward to the business um, strategies I would be learning to enhance my business. Do you see this? Once you introduce yourself in this manner, people are going to really want to get closer to you. They will, even someone that doesn't care who is introducing themselves would most likely turn back like, who is that? Yes, it happens. Now, when you are in a career setting, this is where you talk about your career. Yeah, please do that. We, hello, my name is Ella Obans, and then I am a biochemist by profession. I'm presently working on my PGD, or probably you say I'm working on my master's, and then I look forward to get a, a PhD in my career. I am here to learn more about careers and how to prosper in my career as a biochemist. I look forward to connect with everyone here. Now, when you are introducing yourself in a, in a recreation ground, be quick to highlight your most dominant um, hobbies or things you do for fun that are actually relevant in the present time. Think for instance, most people see writing, even though writing is how I earn my own money. Most people see writing as something people do for recreation. There's some words value writers. Like once you say you're a writer, wow, have you written any book? Yes, people always say that. So mentally, if I'm in a um, recreation ground or maybe all those hangouts and parties, I would most likely, you are expected, not just me, 
introduce yourself with your name where you came to the place from you could say hi my name is ella i stay at abuja my, i said i'm my tama abuja and then i i majorly do writing for a living and also i do writing for recreation when i'm not in a seminar like this i just find my space and read books this is really going to show the person that you are a very mean and serious person so it is very better you talk about your name where you're coming from what you do what you do is majorly what differentiates the introduction what you say in a party should be different from what you say in a conference and what you say in a conference should be different from what you say in a career yes at the long run you could start sharing about what you're working on what you've worked on because basically people are like well you're a writer have you written a book yes i've written a book three of them um if you want to see i have some copies with me you can just take a glance all of these things pours out con connection and communication you probably would get your geek have you subscribed Please do so, please do so. Thank you. There are majorly three occasions where we are easily asked to introduce ourselves. Number one is in a party, number two is in a conference or business summit, number three is a career gathering. Now, when you are in a party, the way you introduce yourself in a party is always must be different from the way you introduce yourself in a conference and also in a career gathering. First of all, if you are in a party, sequence of um, introduction, it, there probably would be salutation, hi, hello, I, what's up, all of those things are salutations, right? Or you could be like, good morning, good afternoon, or whatever time it is where, when you are meeting the person and you start with your name. If you are introducing yourself in a party, there is no need for saying your name is Ella Obans. Like The person will likely not remember. Easily say, quickly say, my name is Ella Obans. And then you include um, what you do, where you came to the party from, and say something about the party as it relates to who you are. Let's take for instance, I come to a party and you are, you are let's say you are Jane and I'm Ella, and you're like, um, hi, my name is Jane and I'm so naive. I've been watching you all around and I would love to really connect with you. I'll be like, hey Jane, it's so nice to meet you. I am Ella O'Barnes. Um, then i from UK and I learned about the party and I'm here. And sincerely speaking, this is one of the things I love to do at my free times. I love partying so much. Partying is my love language. So what am I saying in essence is you emphasize on something as relate to the moment. It must not be so because there are occasions where you, just like me, I can't say partying is, partying is my best. I, I would most likely introduce myself with this stance as my name is Ella O'Barnes and uh, I just came down to this party from my Tama and party has not always been my thing but sincerely I'm enjoying this particular one. Now did you see how that sounds? The person will be like, hmm, what is interesting about the party? What, what, what really made you say that? And you see in, um, communication sparks from there and you guys begin to discuss. Now, if, I'm in a, if you are in a business conference, the best way to introduce yourself, first of all, you need to say your name in full because there is likelihood that that person will also or have also met another Ella, another John, another whatever your name is in that conference. So, not to complicate things, say your name, wait. Um, my name is Ella O'Barnes. My friends love to call me O'Barnes. You see? You can also use this in the party introduction. My name is Ella Obans. My friends love to call me Obans. I am there. I am a communication strategist. I help people communicate their ideas through writing and public speaking. Now, once I say that, I'll be like, and that is why I am here. I sincerely believe that what I do had this particular conference has a way to add to what I do. I look forward to a very, very wonderful moment here. Now, when, once you say that, the person would want, there, there is likelihood they are going to ask you, what part of my Tama are you coming from? Because I said my name is Ella, I just come, I'm just i just coming from my Tama. I arrived here from my Tama and I'm a communication strategist. I help people communicate their thoughts through writing and public speaking. The person would likely ask me, why do you like why do you choose um, communication? Why do you help people for? There are so many questions that will sprout 
communication through that. Let's for me, we are going to have a whole day communication. That is a whole day conversation. If eventually you introduce yourself in that manner, I'm going to ask you tons of questions. I love asking people questions. Too bad I don't like answering much questions. <laughs> yes. So if you're in a career gathering and you are asked to introduce yourself, let's do it again. Hello, my name is Joan. Hi, you look beautiful in that hair, by the way. My name is Joan and you? I'll be like, hi, John, you're not looking bad either. I am Ella O'Barnes, um, the CEO and the founder of Very Best Writing and Personal Development Academy of our time, known as Vita W. I am a biochemist by profession and a communication strategist by training. I am really, really excited to be here because Kara has been my team from the world. I look forward to the productive time I will share here. Now, the moment you introduce yourself in this manner, the person will be like, wow, this person have got something they are doing with their life. Now, even if you bake, right, I just told you about me, by the way, even if you bake, please, by all means, share that. I help people discover themselves. I, I equally help people um, launch out their ideas and make money from it. All of these things are what I do. But that's the highlight. That's a summary of what I could say in the few seconds that would most likely be the best seconds of the, the person meeting me or the most interesting seconds of the person meeting me or the most boring seconds so first impression is a lasting impression if you're not if you're just saying ah oh, my name is ella blah 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 if you are using that kind of energy people will run away from you except you're not willing to connect and the essence of connection is to get to know people get to maybe probably get opportunities or even learn from other people so don't even jeopardize that i know you are an introvert we are in this room we are in this group chat together so the next time you are asked to introduce yourself, whether in a conference ground, in a party, in a classroom where you came new, or even in a, in a group of friends, you now know how to do that. Thank you so much for watching my video. On the next video, I'm going to teach us on how to introduce yourself in a job interview. Please like and share.